Hey, my name is Daniel, and I'm going to try to teach you a little bit about carving today. And I know you guys have some good tools, and I think you'll have fun doing it. Carving's kind of a skill that's kind of not a lot of people do it anymore, but it's a really fun little pastime. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about some tools and kind of get you started. So, pencil is the most important carving tool you have. Most people think they're knife, which is important. And there's another knife called a hook knife. We'll teach you how to use that in a little bit. Here's why a pencil is important, because you're going to take this spoon and you're going to first mark how you want this spoon to look. So we're going to take the handle and we're going to mark like this. And we're going to put a little curve in that handle so that we know what we want it to look like. And you have to be able to kind of see what you want it to be. Then, it's probably good if you're getting started to wear a glove on this hand just to, it'll save you on the band-aids. But if you hold the knife like this, and you're gonna carve kind of with this motion like this in your wrist. So you're gonna do, this wood is really soft, it's called Jelly Tone, and it's a really good beginner one. See how that's going to a big chip? You're gonna turn that spoon around and around, but just kind of small chips like that. And you kind of use the tip of the knife. If you really want to get rid of a lot of wood, you use the back part of the knife. That's got a bigger blade. And when it starts going, you turn it around so it comes off. So see how I move my hand just kind of back and forth, and I use this thumb to kind of push it. So it's really, and you don't have to take big chunks to be carving. You're better if you take little chunks. So you're going to take little chunks like that, and you just carve down to the line until you get it shaped the way you want it. Carving takes time, teaches you patience, teaches you to slow down doesn't get done fast because if you try to go too fast you're going to take too big of a chunk then your handle turns into a toothpick. So see how the shape of the handle is? Now if you want that handle to be round you take your pencil again and you can draw a little line here hold your fingers the same and draw a little line on this side Go down like this. So you'll see I have lines on the top and lines on the side. Like that. Now I'm going to just take this corner off from one line to the next, like that. Got to be careful. Don't take too much, don't get excited. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Take that side down a little bit. And it's, it won't be as easy to you the first time as what it looks, so don't lose heart. It'll be okay. Now we kind of got it rounded just a little bit. We can take some sandpaper, you can sand that real smooth, and you'll have it just the way you want it. We're going to make the same lines on the bottom that we made on the top. So, same kind of thing. And we're going to round the bottom of the handle. Uh, when you're making your handle, you can be kind of creative and kind of make it, mine has a little curve in it, I kind of like how it fits in my hand like that. This spoon has a short handle, it's just kind of short and round. Um, this spoon, you can tell, has a little bit of a different kind of handle, but again, you want it to kind of fit in your hand, kind of to 
where it feels natural. This is kind of a fancy one, um, just for something different. But that's kind of how your handles are gonna look. Okay, this section, we're gonna teach you how to do the bowl of the spoon. So this is gonna be the top, and this is the bottom. And I like to make kind of a circle in the bottom. And we're gonna try, if you can imagine what a bowl, what a spoon looks like that you eat with on the table. You want that bowl to kind of curve around, kind of like a bowl. So we're gonna start here, and we're just gonna take little chips off the sides, and we're gonna go around the circle, like this. And you take smaller chips with this than you do on the handle, but you just keep going around the circle and around the circle. And eventually, you'll have that little circle in the bottom. It's going to be flat and everything's going to be curved up. So you're going to go like this, and you kind of got to blend it into your handle kind of slowly. Curve it around this way. And you turn your spoon around and go this way. You can see how it's starting to look a little bit shaped like a bowl. The bowl part is kind of the tricky part. You want to kind of shape it round. I call this the nose of the spoon. And the nose, you kind of want it to curve up like this. So you don't want any straight left on this part here. So you just kind of keep pushing that on up in a circle until it keeps shaping kind of the way you want it. And you just hold it this way and hold it that way until it kind of feels comfortable in your hand. And when you're doing the bowl, you for sure want to wear a glove because that's when you're going to nick yourself. Pretty close. Take a little bit off of here yet. Kind of like that. You just kind of keep looking at it. Take a little chip off here and there. Get it to where you're happy with it. It doesn't have to be like everybody else's you got to like it. So when you get it all done, when you call it done, then it can look something like this. So you've got all the way around. Okay, we're going to switch knives now because we've carved the outside. And we're going to switch to this knife, and this is called a hook knife. And the hook knife is kind of the scoop knife, and it's going to take the inside of the bowl out. So the this bowl and this bowl are gonna end up looking like this bowl. So the secret to it is you want the outside done and then you carve the inside to match the outside. So the biggest mistake you can make when you do this is you carve a hole through the bottom. That's not fun. So you just start and you just take little chips out of it and you just kind of turn it so it just kind of scoops it out like you're scooping out ice cream or something. And I usually go on one side, and I'm gonna flip the spoon over, and I'm gonna go on the other side, and keep scooping. And you always give yourself, don't go all the way to the edge, 
until you have most of the big stuff scooped out so you have a little bit of room for mistakes if you need to make one. And you can make your bowl as deep as you want to, just not the whole way through, or you can make it as shallow as you want to. So these smaller, sometimes are kind of hard to get all the way to the bottom, so I don't always make them very deep. I'm gonna just kind of scoop around. You can see the front here, we're gonna just kind of see how the knife comes around that edge. Can you see that, or is my fingers blocking all of that? So we'll keep going this way. So you can see I'm just kind of shaping the bowl round, kind of match the outside, kind of working into this edge a little bit, trying to not go through the side of the spoon. So here I'm going to use the edge, the tip of the knife kind of, to work down and around, kind of a circular motion. And I kind of work that until I get it shaped about the way I like it. That, and you just kind of circle that thing around. And we're going to work this front part just a little bit more. And we're going to call that good. And basically what you have left from now is to sand it. And I have a little bit of sandpaper kind of like sandpaper from a belt sander, but it's just a little strip. And you're just gonna take that, and it's the part of the carving that's the least amount of fun, but it makes the final product look good. So you can tell that just kind of smooths out all the little divots and gets it all ready. When you go to sand your bowl, you're gonna kind of, same kind of thing as you do when you carve it, but you're just gonna kind of go around that bowl, around and around. And you're gonna end up getting it real smooth. See here how on the handle there's some, there's still lines and kind of an edge. If you just, especially with this really soft wood, if this wood wasn't quite as soft, we'd have to carve some of that. But with this soft wood, we can actually sand most of that away. So, there's kind of step one to a basic carving class. Hope you have lots of fun and uh, hope you get good at it.